In this tutorial, we will describe the methodology to price an option using the delta hedging approach. Suppose we have a stock that has current stock price equal to S0. Let's say that S0 could go up to SU or down to SD over some time interval T. Let's say there's an option on the stock with strike price K, where K is greater than SD and less than SU. And let's say the time to maturity of this option is also T, and currently the continuously compounded interest rate over this time period T is R percent. Let the payoff of this option if the stock price goes up to SU be denoted by PU. And similarly, if the stock price goes from S0 to SD, let the payoff of this option be PD. Given these parameters, we want to calculate the price of this option. To price this option, we will set up a portfolio using an option and shares such that the portfolio is riskless at maturity of the option. So the portfolio setup is as follows. We have to short one option and long delta shares. Idea is to take position in underlying shares such that the portfolio becomes risk-free when option matures at time t. So at time t, if the stock price goes up to SU, the value of the long stock position is SU times delta. Since we're short the option, the value of the option position is negative P U, which is the payoff of the option if the stock price goes up. Similarly, if the stock price goes down to SD, the value of the stock position is SD times delta. And since we're short the option, the value of the option position in that scenario is PD, which is the payoff of the option if the stock price goes down to SD. To solve for delta, such that the value of the portfolio is equal regardless of whether the stock price goes up or down, these two must be equal. So solving for delta in this equation, we get the value of delta to equal the payoff of the option if the stock price were to go up, minus the payoff of the option if the stock price were to go down, divided by the stock price itself in the scenario when it goes up, minus the stock price in the scenario when it goes down. This is the value of delta and shows the number of shares we have to long for the option that we have shorted in order to remove the uncertainty from portfolio's value at maturity of the option. This calculation shows that delta measures the change in payoffs of the option due to change in the value of the underlying. Since this delta will give us the same value of the portfolio, regardless of whether the stock goes up or down, there is no risk or uncertainty about portfolio's value at maturity of the option. In that case, the present value of this portfolio just equals the value of the stock price in the scenario when it goes up times delta minus the payoff of the option when the stock price goes up discounted at the risk-free rate, which in turn equals the value of the stock price in the scenario when it goes down times delta minus the payoff of the option in scenario when stock price goes down discounted at the risk-free rate. So the cost of setting up this portfolio today must then be equal to the current stock price times delta minus 
the price of this option today, and under no arbitrage, this must equal the present value of the portfolio of stock and option that we just computed. Solving for the price of the option P, we get P equal to the current stock price times delta minus the present value of the portfolio of stock and option. This is the price of the option today. And this is how we can price an option in discrete time framework using the delta hedging approach. We will also show an application of this approach in another video. If there are any questions or comments about this approach, please feel free to post. Thank you.